I am here today. Um, today, guys, I will be um reviewing um Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Um, this game, guys. Um, this game is it's got some good and bad and ugly to this game. Like I swear, good, the bad, and ugly. So we'll be going over the good, the bad, and the ugly of this game. Um, this game, it's a good amount of the good. But also a lot of the bad and the ugly, like for real, guys. Um, so in this video, we'll be going over um all those things, guys. Um, so first, we're gonna start with the good. We are gonna start reviewing the good now. So, one really amazing thing about this game that I really liked was the amount of like customization you could do in this game. Um compared to like the MW2 or like you know the new MW2 like the one right before this um but there is a little bit less customization like in this I can let's say I want to go to TYR pistol right they added a new feature called conversion kits which I is kind of cool I can convert it into something else like I can turn it into a rifle just pistol into a rifle uh so that's part of the customization that I liked um Another really cool customization feature that I liked in this game, um, and I thought was a pretty nice addition to the game, was like gloves, boots, and the gear. So you know with the gloves, you get certain perks with those, like these, increase weapon swap speed, and these, reload while sprinting, use equipment, and field upgrades, yada yada yada, all sorts of other stuff. Re reduces sway and flinch so these can really help you out guys like and tactical pads and like all these shoes like this eliminates footstep sounds but it, just remember guys if you do have if somebody you're facing does have their volume jacked up they can still hear your footsteps um with with the covert 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 whatever that is sneakers see how they give you so many nice benefits um it's really cool um you know, you got the flashlights and stuff, this kind of stuff. Reduces damage from non kill streak, explosive, and fire. So, this is really beneficial, some of this stuff, guys. Um, and that's that's one thing that I really liked uh, uh, about this game. Just one of them right now. Um, one of the most popular maps, uh, Rust, as you guys can see. It was recently added back to the. Uh, or, it was added to MW3. Um, such a good map um at least in the old game it was not much not so much fond of it in, in this mw3 but it's so it's kind of nice to have the old maps back for once um it is it is it looks really clean and it, it feels really nice and the guns as you guys can see in this game, the guns play really well um you even got the nice addition of slide canceling now too, which is um really amazing. So to have that back in the game, and be full on attack sprinting at someone, and, you know, just slide and jump. But it's really nice, guys. Um, and so this is really nice. Bad side of the game. So. As you guys may be wondering, there's lots of good to this game, but there is some really, really bad sides to this game. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you one of them, guys. Um, this is one of the many bad things of the game, um, but this is probably by far one of my least favorite things about the game. And that is these dumbass daily challenges. As you guys can see, I'm up in the top left corner. We got freaking daily challenges now. I mean, what the hell, guys? Like... To get a certain weapon, I gotta get, I gotta complete daily challenges now. Like, why? I, if I want a weapon, like, just let me unlock it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's so stupid. Like, I don't want to have to, like, complete daily challenges to get a gun. I want to level up and to get guns. And how else, however else they could come up to earn come up with the arm like not these dumb daily challenges though i mean like
come on, man. Gotta do better than that. Like, this is shit, guys. Like, daily challenges. It's to, like, so if you don't complete your daily challenges, then, or if you, you do complete them, and you still got, like, five more daily challenges to go, let's say, to get your next thing, oh, well, you can win five matches to each match you win counts as a one point towards your daily challenges. But guess what? That takes up a lot of time. And to eventually unlock everything in the game. That's just weapons, guys. But guess what? You also gotta armory unlock every freaking thing in the game. If I want a juggernaut, I gotta freaking activate a damn daily challenge. I want a drill charge. A damn daily challenge again. Look at this. Loadout drop. A whopping. Eight freaking daily challenge completes. Like, what the hell is wrong with this game, guys? Like, this, this is, this is just, oh my gosh, it's just bullshit, guys. Like, if I want a VTOL jet, guys, eight daily challenges. Why the hell not give it to me for free? Why? Just freaking why? And what is a data jacker? Enemies you kill drop a smartphone. Collecting the smartphone generates a radar ping from that location. Well, why do I want a radar ping? And it's eight freaking daily challenge completes. Why? Oh, see, guys, this is just see how stupid this is. Like this. Look at this. Thirty daily challenges to unlock. Uh, well, I, I, it's just, it's just. Look to unlock. Oh, and also, it gets even freaking worse, guys. Look at this. To unlock scopes and other things fucking daily challenges get that it's crazy look at that if I want like it's just it's just so freaking stupid like literally guys like this is just just beyond like this just it's just stupid look, look look let's go into weapons say I just want to customize this gun say I need a laser right oh they're all daily challenges guys oh yippee I can't unlock them by leveling and maxing out the weapon anymore yippee guys am I right let's go let's say I got this gun oh I can't customize that gun so let's say let's say I got TYR right here right I thought say I want to put an optic on it. Well, you know what? My favorite optic. Uh, daily challenges. Uh-oh. I gotta go win two matches because I already used all my daily challenges. Or I could just come back tomorrow, which is what the game wants to keep you sucked into this game. But it's just an awful way to do it. Like, if you're gonna do that, like, do it in a better way, man. Like, come on. Like, this is just stupid. Daily challenges. If I want a freaking muzzle. My gun. Let's say I... What the heck did that? Just see the game just freaking glitched on me. Let's say I'm gonna go here. Let's say I want an underbarrel. Like, let's say I just looked up best loadout in the game. And it says I need a certain underbarrel, right? For this gun. Uh oh, I don't have the freaking underbarrel. Time to go get it. Daily challenges. Some stuff you can unlock by leveling up. But the majority of it is freaking daily challenges, guys. And it's. Look at, let's just go through all the optics real quick that require daily challenges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 7, 26, okay. 26 optics in this game. Just for this specific gun that require daily challenges. Just, just think, just think about that. It's, each one is two. What is it, 26? 20, yeah, 26. No, not 29. 26. 26 times 2. It's 52. I gotta complete 52 daily challenges to unlock all the scopes. Or at least for that gone. I imagine if I want the TYR, the scopes would be different. Yeah, the scopes are different here. With different types of scopes. I see, what I'm, see what I'm getting at, guys. It's just... It's just bad. It's just shit. Like, why? Just, just, why? 
So guys, that's like the major bad thing in this game. Um, but there is another really major bad thing that I'm just not gonna go into too much depth today. But I'll go into some more depth later on. I felt like um, zombies mode. Zombies mode was absolutely It's just you're playing Battle Royale. Okay. It's basically just DMZ. Just imagine this is... all the reasons why Call of Duty is so mid guys like I just went over the good the bad and the ugly and in the end this is a very mid Call of Duty game this doesn't stand up to the old Modern Warfare 2 the old Black Ops or even World at War um all those games guys so much freaking better than this. like this and if you guys are just wondering one more thing, I just gotta say about this game. This game was meant to be a DLC. I just wanna tell you guys that right now. This game was meant to be a DLC. So, you know, um, whoever it is, Activision, I think, um, you know, trying to scam some more money out of its Call of Duty fans, um, what do you expect, though, so, um, that'll be it for my, um, gaming review today, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed, um, hope you guys, um, have a nice day, um, remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, and have a nice day, guys, and, Bye.